Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. I'll be doing a super quick demo on a slightly advanced use case. Uh, this is for alerting. I often hear that customers want to alert upon when services are down on their Linux or Windows host. That's a no-brainer in Elastic. But when it comes to additional sophistication of looking at additional things around that event, that's when we start to create transform jobs. So let me give you one example. Uh, one example is a customer said, hey, I want, to, I want to know when a service or a Windows service or process is down. That's a no-brainer, right, in Elastic. But I also want to look at the, in the last five minutes of that service, I want to know if there has been any re-attempts. And I only want to be alerted if the service has no longer re-attempted to restart, all right? And why that's important is because on the Windows side, there's uh, processes that are set to automatic so that if you stop, they will come right back up. And then maybe after certain attempts, it will say, okay, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> this is not coming up and I'm not gonna try any longer. And that's what, you know, maybe is a little bit more advanced use case. And historically, we've had to run transform jobs to create a denormalized view of that type, particular type of events where we say, hey, number of times the service has started and a number of times service has stopped and we do some comparison. However, with Elasticsearch 8.13, with ESQL, this is super simple. Uh, and, and let's take a look at it. Uh, this is Kibana, and I'm gonna go into Discover. And I know that all my Windows events are in the metrics data stream here. And let's go ahead and run a simple query. Start with ESQL. And we'll say here that from metrics, we want to know anything from the last five minutes. And we want to know all Windows services that are type automatic. All right? Great. Uh, but that still didn't give me the analytic that I was looking for. So I'm going to add another line here. And we're going to stay here that, hey, I want to count... Um, the number of times a Windows service is in running state and we also want to count the number of times it has stopped and we want to group by the Windows display name, right? We'll run that and there you go. So now it looks like, you know, we do have an analytic. Now just to do this in ESQL is, a big, is big because historically we had to run transform jobs. So, so glad this feature is available, but I still, again, ultimately I want to alert upon that, right? So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that analytic or that aggregate and I'm simply going to say where running count equals zero, which means, hey, the service is not running and the stop count is greater than one, which means, hey, the, the, stop, the, the service is not running. And here you can see that I have a Windows uh, service called Windows Push Notification for User and it is stopped and there and the running count is zero. So what does this analytic mean? That this service is no longer attempting to restart. It is in stopped status and this is now what we want to alert upon. And this becomes incredibly simple now to use ESQL with alerts. So let's head over to the alerts page in Kibana I'm going to scroll down to uh, under observability and alerts and I'm going to manage rules and I'm going to create a new rule, right? And the new rule will be using on the last eight, an ESQL query. So let's do that. Copy and paste our ESQL query here. We'll call this Windows service down, no uh, restart attempt, All right? Pretty easy. And we're gonna run this and we're gonna test it. And yep, looks like uh, this, so when I tested it, which means that this would create a um, an alert. And I'm gonna check this, you know, it doesn't really matter. I can check it in five minutes or one minute. And then here we can, you know, call service now, whatever. But again, now super simple. My point here is that with ESQL, now we're able to easily detect more advanced use cases instead of running transform jobs. 
for example, looking at a state of a job over the last five minutes and correlating that state to many artifacts, right? And that artifact could be number of times that the service has started and stopped. And again, historically, we've had to run a query or write a query and transform and create watcher events. Now with the SQL and alerting, this is incredibly simple. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.